Okay, here it is. We are on stop three of 44, and today I am at Four Seasons Ski and Golf Center with John Goodfellow. John, how are you doing today? Great, great. How are you doing? John, tell me a little bit about your resort here. Well, we've been here for almost 50 years, teaching people how to ski and snowboard, and 96, we started the snow tubing, so we've got a little of everything for a family resort. We're a family operation here. Now, actually, something else that came to my attention yesterday was at one point, you were actually written up to be the smallest ski resort in North America? Yeah, we were. That was back in 96 uh, they did that. And that was before we put the chairlift in, too. So we've kind of grown a little bit. I don't think we are anymore, but uh, at that time, we were the smallest in the in the United States and had a lot of laughs with it. And got poked at a little bit fun, a little tongue-in-cheek with it, but uh, we got a lot of press out of it. Well, at least you're number one in something there, we're, right? We were, we were that. I think we're number two or three now, but anyways, it's still fun. And and actually, you bring up the chairlift, and my home resort is Holiday Valley, and that's pretty cool because that's where that chairlift came from, isn't it? That was their schoolhouse lift at, at uh, Holiday Valley, and when it came up for sale, I, I jumped on it, and it was perfect. And you also have what's called the magic carpet over here. That's I probably should have done that before I did the chairlift. Best thing we ever did because it's great for anybody. Easier way to get up the hill, especially for somebody in the learning process, right? Especially kids, yeah. Keeps we, them on the ground, keep them close to the ground. We touched a little bit on that you're a learning center, basically. Right. That's, that's what we do here, yeah. But it's got to be nice to be, uh, you know, even a smaller resort like yourself, it's got to be nice because a little less intimidating for somebody to come out here and learn to ski at a place like this instead of being at a resort that's maybe absolutely huge like a white face or something and trying to get through the hills. We've had many people come here that bend other areas and really turned off, maybe turned off to skiing or snowboarding because of the size and the enormity of, of other areas. They come here, it's a little slower pace. Obviously with a conveyor it makes it nice and easy for them. They go right, they get right to it and they pick it up. And you got the golf here too. In the summertime we have golf. We teach people to play golf. We have baseball cages over here for that. And we're putting in a new uh, action miniature golf course for the spring. Very nice. So what can we, uh, what else can we touch on here? You've got the tubing, you've got the, the learn to ski center, you've got, I'm actually surprised to see a lift at a resort this size, but it's very cool to have that. Yeah, well, we do a lot of birthday parties getting back to the, our tubing over here. It's a big situation there because it's something to do, something new, get people out on the fresh air and, uh, have fun and uh, that's a big thing besides our learn to ski and snowboard programs anything else you'd like to add to let uh, some people know out there that you know we make snow we got snow here and nobody else does around in the area it's a hard thing to convince our, especially our clientele that we do have snow here because they don't see it in their backyard so there it is just because there's no snow in your backyard doesn't mean there's not any here it's got a snow making system here you've got the tubing nice magic carpet for learning to ski and ride i love the lift over there and uh even more with a little bit of golf and some mini golf you got going in over there some batting cages year-round operation that's, that's what keeps us going here we have the same people come back in the summertime they're here in the winter time well this is pretty cool here's something i've never done before this is called the magic carpet and it actually makes it real nice and easy, especially for a beginning skier, to get to the top of the hill. What's your name? Ty. Ty. How long have you been snowboarding? Uh, about two years. Really? What do you like about snowboarding? Uh, all the different tricks and stuff. Is this a good place to learn how to snowboard? Mm-hmm. What's your name, young man? Nico. Nico? Mm -hmm. How many years have you been a snowboarder? About two. About two? Do you know a lot of tricks? No. You're still working on them? Yes. Yeah, is this a good place to learn how to snowboard? Yes. Cool. You go on going. Nate, what brings you out here tonight? Uh, just wanted to, my sister had a lesson, so I wanted to ski. Ah, uh, but you're snowboarding. Well, yeah. Yeah, snowboard. How long have you been a snowboarder? Uh, so, six years. Six years? So you're all right on the snowboard then? Yeah. You find this a nice place to learn how to snowboard? Yeah. Maybe a little less intimidating than some of the bigger resorts? Yeah. Good place to hone your skills, huh? Yeah. Well, here's one of the things I can tell you for sure. Even though we joked about this being one of the smallest ski resorts in North America, it's places like these that you can hone your skills without that intimidating factor of a 750-foot vertical drop. So, if you're looking for something to do and a good place to learn to ski, Four Seasons just might be the place for you. I'm going to hit the road, but before I do, I definitely think I'm going to have to take a ride on that, too. I can't resist. i got to take one of these for a ride. Well, like I said, couldn't resist a tube ride before I take off tonight.
Woohoo! Woohoo! Well, if skiing ain't your thing, tubing might be just what you're looking for. <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank John and the staff over here at uh, Four Seasons for uh, taking care of me tonight. Very cool place. And again, cool place to learn how to ski. Not as intimidating as maybe something that's a 750 foot vertical drop, but uh, if the skiing thing's not for you, that tubing's pretty cool too.